what about China? In some ways, China and the Olympic Games were made for each other because both, in some ways, even though China no longer, I would, uh, I would argue, is a typical communist country, uh, it's in many ways, it's now a kind of hybrid, uh, and there's very little socialism or Marxism really left in the, in, in the system there. But it is in some ways still, like, like all communist countries, rooted very much in 19th century ideas and 19th century institutions. Now, Marxism may have disappeared, but other 19th century elements are still there. That includes the, this almost fetishistic love of building big stadiums, grand infrastructure project, projects, uh, parades with lots of flags and, uh, and so on, and the idea of national virility. Um, which I think in, in Chinese nationalism today does still play a role. The idea of th th that we are living in a Darwinian struggle of nations in which you have to be strong and show that you're strong and otherwise you won't survive and so on and so forth. So uh, the IOC and China, I think, understand each other on, on, on this issue and, and, and also uh, on, the, on the myth which benefits both that politics and, and, and sports or the Olympic Games uh, are two separate things and don't mix, and it's really all about, uh, about sports, which, of course, um, it isn't really. Um, now, the Olympic Games, I think, if you look at the history of them, have had a, p a positive effect and sometimes a negative effect. I mean, the, the Coubertin vision that if you organize international games that people get along better and, uh, and so on, um, I'm not sure about get that getting a long part, but it has had positive effects, also negative effects. The main negative games, of course, were the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, used by the Nazi government as a kind of showcase to show uh, the glories of the Third Reich. Um, uh, uh, condone, not condoned, but uh, with, the, with the complicity of the IOC, who did everything to, 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 to make German, Germany look good at the time. And there was something rather pathetic in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games in 1936, when uh, the, the, the quavering voice of the, very, of the frail and old Coubertin was played on the public address system, talking about not, the importance was not to win or lose, but to take part, as Hitler and Goering and others were sitting there gloating uh, after hearing the horse vessel leap and so on played on the same. PA system just before. They were certainly interested in winning and not particularly interested in taking part. Um, so that's a negative consequence of using the Olympic Games to showcase a country. But there were positive ones. I will think of two uh, actually in Asia, uh, in post-war Asia. One was the uh, 1964 Games, I believe it was, in Tokyo, which put post-war Japan, the post-war Japanese uh, democracy, back on the map. It, it made Japan into a respectable um, uh, member of the international community once again. Um, it showed uh, that, that, that the lessons of World War II, if you want to put it in such a highfalutin way, but were learnt. Um, and I think it was a very good thing for Japan and by extension possibly uh, for the world. The other example, of course, is South Korea. And um, there is a, a certain misunderstanding um, about this. Um, those who say that the Olympic Games can have a very positive political effect um, often um, suggest that the, the Olympic Games in Seoul in 1988, I think it was, um, somehow heralded uh, democracy in South Korea, which was not the case. Um, the, the South Korean government had already uh, conceded to having uh, general elections for their next government. And what was true is that the Olympic Games gave uh, the Democrats in, in South Korea, but also the United States and others who had clout in, in, in that country, um, the leverage to put pressure on the government to keep its word, because the government knew that if they didn't um, uh, keep their word, then the Olympic Games would be in jeopardy, and that would be a severe loss of face. Uh, for um, the Republic of Korea, and, uh, and so it did help, but indirectly.